Hey guys. Hey guys. Today we're going to show you how we do our vegan bolognese. Yeah, so another recipe coming up. And of course it's not going to be completely vegan because we are using cheese at the end, but everything else I think it's vegan. Okay, let's just go cooking. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to cooking. So we already chopped the onion, we already cut the pepper, and we already cut the carrots. So first things first, we're gonna put some olive oil in the pan. Oh, and this is the vegan meat that we are using. Just put the onion inside. Medium heat, stir it up for like five, six, seven minutes. Okay, so as soon as the onion gets a little bit brown, we just press like two small cloves of garlic, and the onion is already crystallizing. So after five, to six, seven minutes, we just put the carrot inside. We put a little bit of wine. And now it's time for meat to come in. Let's just let it grill for a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna add the tomato sauce. Okay, we just add a little bit of white, dry wine, just a little bit. And then we close it so it steams for two minutes. And then we're gonna add the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce, we have a rest of this and then one can of cut tomatoes. So now we add the tomato sauce and the cut tomatoes. And now we're gonna add one garlic more that it cooks with the sauce and the paprika. That's me trying to help. <laughs> the pepper. Now it's time to put some spices inside. Uh, we have dried basil, dried oregano, and we have like a pasta sauce. It's Water like pasta. herb, exactly, it's like herbs for Bolognese. All right, so now don't forget to put the heat down. So let's say four out of nine. And we're gonna first put the dried basilicum, oregano. Let it first cook a little bit and then try it if it's enough. That's enough. And now the salt. So let's stir all, everything up again. Just that everything soaks with the spices and the juices of the garlic and onion. All right, and now we just leave it to cook and soak for the next 30 to 40 minutes. So the I'm longer the hungry. better, right? Exactly. I mean, don't you can do it the whole day, but we don't have time the whole day. Okay, so this time we're gonna use red lentils pasta. Actually, we bought this one in DM. It actually has more proteins than a normal pasta, and it obviously has less uh, carbohydrates. So we both really like this pasta. The water is boiling, and this is already cooking for 40 minutes. You can do it less. So good already, look at this. So this pasta is actually really fast. It, it has to cook like six to eight minutes, but we're gonna do a bit less. And the last two minutes, we're gonna cook it in the sauce. The pasta was cooking for like five minutes. Here comes the best part. Put the pasta in the sauce. We're gonna stir it up a bit and let it cook for let's say two minutes. And now we can put already like a fresh pepper on top. All right, I think it's ready. Looks so good. It smells actually really good. So now on top comes a little bit of cheese, grana padano, but first, fresh basil and a little bit of fresh pepper and fresh salt. Oh, look at this. This is the whole vegan version and this is the version with cheese. It smells so good. It really does. All right, let's eat. Okay, so this is the finished pasta. Let's eat. We hope you enjoyed our little recipe. Fresh pepper on top, cheese, a little bit of fresh salt and olive oil. Don't forget about the olive oil. Buon appetito. Buon appetito.